Hello, my friends, and welcome back to The Long Dark Experiment on our quest to survive for 500 days on Interloper with a bit of a twist. This is episode 47. Let's go ahead and resume our game. Man, all I can think about is food. Oh, wow, we are pretty hungry. Um, yeah, when last we left off, we are here at the Mountaineer's Hut in Timberwolf Mountain after making a successful... A pretty big expedition actually we went we uh, traveled to the gold mine and then to uh, the top of Timberwolf Mountain Let's see what the weather's like ooh beautiful time of day looks like the moon is just coming up I do want to get some meat here before we start getting hungry or lose our well-fed bonus anyway guys uh, welcome back I'm so glad you came along for this uh, next episode so in this episode I'm hoping that we can make some progress towards possibly a uh, bearskin coat if we can probably leave the area here and uh, track down where where a bearskin uh, I need two cured bearskins and plenty of guts and I think we were just about ready to head out at the end of the last episode I had some thoughts um, you know, like I was saying, sometimes when you sleep on things, you come up with ideas. And I had an idea, because I've got all these books. Let's see, I think they're in my inventory. I've got one, two, three, four, five books that I keep lugging around. And I have all this fuel here. Got cedar firewood, tons of sticks. And I was thinking, what if I just make a fire? Oh, here, guys, here's the other thing is if you remember in the last episode, I spent all that time fixing up our clothing. So we fixed up a lot of stuff here. Uh, we fixed up our uh, deerskin pants, our boots, um, some of the, uh, the items here. And I'm kind of worried about cabin fever. It hasn't shown up yet, but I've spent so much time indoors, I'm kind of worried about that. So I was thinking, what if we go over to the ice fishing hut make a nice warm fire and just sit and read through all of our books that we have. I think that might be a good way to stave off cabin fever and get these books read and finished. It really shouldn't take that long either, like in game time. It, it probably would actually take, uh, uh, what, what am I trying to say here? It probably won't take much time on the video, but it might like actually take a lot of time on the actual game. But at any rate, let me grab some of this wood. And, uh... Yo, let's take the fur. Yeah, I should use the fur wood. And then I think we'll head over. Is there anything I need to do? Your guts. I could harvest these as well. Do I need to fix anything? Let's see, that's at 93%. Our hats, uh, 88 how much leather do I have? I think I even left some leather, like in maybe in this drawer. So maybe I don't need to harvest. Yeah, I got plenty of leather. Yeah, we should be fine. I'll take one of those. And we should be good. Looks like I'm, I'm down to one cloth. Hmm. Simple parka. Yeah, I, I think we're good. That's probably fine. Um... I could cook some meat. Maybe I'll take some of this. Are there any wolves out? Let's get out our bow just in case. Might attract some wolves as we're walking with all this stuff, but it uh, would be nice to get it all cooked up. I don't see any wolves. Oh, I can hear them though. I did see a deer over there, so there's a chance we could attract a wolf and then it might actually go for the deer. One other thing I was thinking is we could possibly drop down over by uh, where we first saw the bear. I guess that, that way. If we kind of drop down, there could be a... Uh, some... oh gosh, what are those? Cargo containers that we haven't searched yet? They're really not that far. Might be a good idea to head over there. Just check it out. Let's 
I wonder where the wolves are. Okay, I thought I thought they would come and check out what all the smell was. Well, either way, made it to our uh, hut here. Let's get a fire started. You know what? Actually, maybe I will hang on to these and see if a wolf comes. Because we will actually be safe inside here. Be safe in here, and then one might come and get the uh, the deer or something. I don't know if I if I enter into this fishing hut, guys. Okay, let's say I'm smelly and maybe a wolf is coming over that hill. If I enter the fishing hut, does that break off the uh, the wolf's interest, or does he keep coming? I'm not sure how that works. But let's uh, let's get this fire going. Use a stick. I think it'll be nice to be finished with these books and not have to lug them around. Plus, you know, we, we might level up a little bit. Okay, um, let's add some fuel here. Got so many sticks. Got four hours on there. Alright, let's read for an hour. Be fun to get this uh, get these books all finished. I want to do the ice fishing first. And we've got uh, five hours on that. Okay, one hour. Let's check on our meat. Cooked bear meat. Twenty-seven minutes. Oh, how about this one? There we go. Ice fishing. I think once our meat's all cooked, then I'll actually do like multiple hours at a time. Just hate to let a good fire go to waste. Right, uh, let's go back to reading. I wonder what interesting things we're learning about ice fishing. You know, there's got to be some really interesting uh, information there. I've actually never been ice fishing. I have been uh, lake fishing, stream fishing. One of my favorite memories in, uh, as, a, as a youth growing up was uh, one summer, me and my friends. Um, actually, let me read this. <laughs> I can't do two things at once. Um, we, uh, we went up into the woods between Wyoming and Idaho. And uh, just we had an inflatable raft and just rode on the river there. Um, for, it was like for a week or something we took off. And we're just living off the land, you know. Um, fishing, riding down the river lazy and camping and so much fun. Just such a great memory. Those were different times back then. I don't I don't know if parents would let their kids do that these days. Um, thirsty, okay. Let's get a drink. Looks like I probably need to cook some water here. Down to point one liters. How's the meat? Thirty six minutes? Alright. Let's get back to there we go. Also, one of my favorite books is about fishing. Um, there's a book. If you've ever heard of Edward Abbey, he's kind of a controversial guy. He wrote Desert Solitaire. He was uh, he was a uh, park ranger back at uh, Arches National Park before they really had roads going in and out and he was the only park ranger there. Anyway, he wrote a, a book called Desert Solitaire about his time there. Um, but another book he wrote was called uh, Down the River. And that's when he and his buddy, 
Uh, okay, I finished that one. Nice. So it was when uh, so Glen Canyon Dam. If you've ever heard of Glen Canyon Dam in southern Utah and uh, Arizona area, that's where Lake Powell is now. It was beautiful Canyonland country. And they had announced that they were going to build a dam there. And, of course, there's so many Indian ruins and cliff dwellings and uh, just just such a beautiful country there. Anyway, before they built the dam, he, uh, Edward Abbey and his friend spent, I don't know, like a month or something, a really long time just going down the river. And, hold on, am I going to let this burn? <laughs> I better check. Bear meat's 19 minutes till ready. Just pass some time here. We'll eat that. Um, so, Tom Sawyer style, you know, where they're just kind of lazily going down the river. They they went down the uh, the river that goes through uh, Glen Canyon, which actually is the same river that goes through the Grand Canyon. Um, and just lived off the land, and oh, it's just such such a great adventure. Really enjoyed that book. Um, okay, I don't know if, hopefully this won't burn if I read for another hour. I'll do guns, guns, guns for an hour. And here comes a storm, which is just fine. We're nice and toasty in here. I suppose I don't need to cook all of these. But, you know, we only have a few left anyway. Oh, that was close. One minute till burn. So I guess the rabbit burns quicker, maybe? Three minutes till the fire goes out. Okay. Guns, guns, guns. Oh, 25 freaking hours. Oh, man. That is huge. Okay, well, maybe I won't focus on this book right now. 25 hours. We'll do a different book. And we're just about out of water here. It's nice to have all this cooked meat. Okay, I need to cook some water. Okay, let me get a drink. It's not going to give us a lot of liquid there is it I might run out of uh, water uh, let's try it though maybe I can get an hour oh yeah that worked out Okay, two hours remaining. May as well burn this. Man, this pack is getting Let's see, heavy. frozen angler. There we go. Is there anything else I want to cook? Oh, 11 minutes. I might just leave these raw. I'll try this one. It's possible it'll burn. Oh, it burned. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm done cooking. I will... Actually, you know what? I'll do some water. Yeah, let's do that. Once this water is done, I might be done uh, doing individual hours. might be the last one here. See how much water I have. 
2.83 liters plus this here. That should be plenty. Add some fuel. Got some cedar. Okay, it leaves us with three hours. Um, let's see. And that one's done. Okay, let's put that on. Practical gunsmithing. Go for three hours. Nice. Okay, well, one thing we are going to run into here is tiredness. Hey! Leveled up revolver to level two without firing a single bullet. Let's check the stats here. Revolver. I'm so tired. I could lay down right here. Or novice, you have a little more shooting experience under your belt. You can pick your targets and you know how to keep your revolver clean enough to fire. Recoil compensation increased by 25% and two condition per repair action. Well, that's nice. It's so leveled up. Okay. Um, I'm thinking we probably need to go sleep. And maybe we'll even call it here as far as the books, books go. Two hours. Hmm. Yeah, we're definitely going to... I forgot about getting tired. Because you can't read when you're tired. Um, but that one's done. Um, let's see. Two hours remaining. Hate to waste the fire. Just pass time and get this. Oh, whoops. I think I picked it up too quick. Let's go to water. Boil water. There we go. That's what I meant to do. Oh, I've never been so hungry in my life. You hungry? Well, you've come to the right place. Okay, we have cooked everything we can cook. There's a bit of wind. I barely walk with this much gear. We got rabbit out. Oh, there's a wolf coming right at us now. Is he gonna go for the deer? He's going somewhere. Where is he going? He is going for the deer. He's not going very quickly though. Oh, the deer's heading back. You're gonna go for him? And yeah, we got another wolf. Hey, Wolfie. All right, we'll head inside. I think that wolf is gonna get the deer, but I'll leave it alone. All right, well, now I gotta wait for this wolf to go. Drop these. Ooh, who's he going after? Oh, he got a he got a rabbit. Okay. All right, we're gonna be slow and heavy, and a wolf will probably come. Wait, how many? Let's check how many torches I have. I think I have plenty of torches because we already planned that out, right? In the last episode, I. I think I went through all my torches and grabbed a bunch. Okay, well, I feel better about that. Now we only have maybe two or three books to bring instead of like five. All right, that's probably good enough there. Always going for the other rabbit too. Run, rabbit. Aww. Wonder how Larry's doing. 
Larry Berry. Wonder if he misses us. We're so tired. <laughs> Let's check the time here. Okay, sun is just going down. So this might actually work out just fine. Because we're so tired, we can sleep the whole night away and then be refreshed in the morning. And I'm pretty sure we have completely reset our uh, cabin fever risk by doing that. Um, and that's really good because if we're gonna if we're gonna craft up a bearskin coat, we're most likely gonna get cabin fever for, just from doing that by itself. It really does uh, take a long time to craft up the uh, the bearskin coat. So I'll have to check our notes, because I'm not exactly sure where we left the bear skins. But I know we have seven of them. Okay, cooked meat. It's all going right here. Let's get a bite. We got all that water with us, too. Let's see how much water we have. It's Probably some ridiculous amount. But you can never have too many. Too much. Let's see, there we go. Seven liters. Um, you know what? I'm gonna I'll take one of them. Let's drink drink up, because we're gonna go to sleep here. Put these up here. Oh guys, I've got to apologize. Um, the last episode, I can't believe how dark that was, the video. I was uh, re-watching re some of it and there were parts of it that were like almost unwatchable. It was so dark. And I think part of that is YouTube. Like YouTube just seems to make things extra dark. Um, but also I could have like lit, lit a torch or something. It was just really, really dark. I'm gonna, I think I'll just let that go out. Anyway, guys, I'm um, sorry about that. There were times when I was like shooting in a rabbit, and uh, you couldn't even tell what I was shooting at. Uh, that's probably good there. Let's drop that. You know what? Actually, hold on. The torch I currently have here is 30%. I, I'm sure I've got some better quality torches. What are all these? I'll drop them all in one convenient little pile here. But I want to keep the really good ones. So I have one, two, three, four. Wait, they really are. I thought I'd have some better quality ones, but they're really not that great anyway. Let's harvest this up. I could also see if I have any, um, if I have any uh, mushrooms or rose hips to harvest before we go to sleep here. Lots of broken arrows. I didn't realize I had so many broken arrows. I think most of them are the, uh, the fire hardened arrows, so. Okay, 20% bow. I think. Do we want to leave that? I might end up leaving that in the morning. Um, I'll have to see how heavy we are. Let's 
craft these up. And I think that's it. Ready to go to sleep. Let's get a drink. We don't need to heal up particularly very much, so I'll sleep for six hours, then we'll sleep for another six hours probably. Let's see where that takes us. Okay. Ooh, we've survived 86 days. Let's get a drink. By the way, I don't need to drop anything, do I? Cured. Okay, good. Wouldn't surprise me if I had like a bear skin, uh, bear skin that I needed to drop to cure or something. All right, let's sleep for six more hours. Let's see where that takes us. Okay, good morning. Looks like today's the day we're gonna set out. Black bear hide. All right, let me check our journal and see where we have left. I think I think most likely it's gonna be um, Pleasant Valley. Where did we? What did we leave in Pleasant Valley here? Pleasant Valley, barn, one bear hide. Um, lots of guts. Thompson's Crossing, four deer hide, two bear pellets. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. So if we just head back to like Thompson's Crossing or something, got two bear pelts. Got quality tools over there. So I think I might leave the quality tools here. If we're gonna, if we're gonna head over to Thompson's Crossing, may as well leave the the quality tools here just to help us be a little bit more lightweight. Um, cooking ingredients. Where did I leave all the meat? I didn't mention meat here at the barn. I'm guessing there's meat there. Uh, water, meat. Okay, I do have meat at Thompson's Crossing. Cooking ingredients, time again down. Okay. Looks like Thompson's Crossing is where we want to head. I'm trying to think where the crafting bench is. I mean, there's one in the barn. We're going to need a crafting bench. Um, I don't think there's one in Thompson's Crossing. I can't think of one. But there's the one in the barn, which isn't that far. So, um, anyway. It's moving day. And let me see, what did I leave as far as notes go for this location? So, um, let's see. Timberwolf Mountain. Forest cave, one bear hide. Okay, we got the bear hide and the guts. Ooh, ghost wolf. Forgot about the ghost wolf, guys. I don't think we left any meat there. Did we? I think we brought all the meat back with us. But we're going to leave a note here for um, the Mountaineer's Hut. And then let's decide what we're gonna leave here. So we've got lots of guts. I think I'll leave the bear hide, still curing. Got some coal. How much coal do I have? Uh, 19. I'll take 14 with us. Uh, I'll probably drop the cedar. Um, I'll take those two books with us. These all cured. I think I'll leave I'll leave the maple here. I'll leave one maple here. We'll take we'll take those two with us. Leave the cured guts and the cattails. Okay, let's start writing some of this down. We got the heavy hammer, the lantern, thermos, tools, quality tools. If I'm lucky, I'll remember. 
some of that. So we got one heavy hammer. We had one lantern, one quality tools, one thermos, um, one bear skin, lots of cured guts, some meat, Um, we have a bunch of coal. One maple. What did I leave in the drawer? Nothing I really need to mention. Scrap metal. Um, you know, I, do I want to take this out? I guess, yeah, it's fine. It's, it's okay to leave that there. Fine. Okay, quality tools. We've got water. Um, oh, magnifying lens. One. One mag lens. That's pretty important. I think that's all we need to mention. Secured rabbit pelts. Might be good. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, let's see. I've got so many saplings. You know, I'm going to drop some of these. Drop. Do I want to... Drop two of them. Oh, we're, we're lightweight now. It's actually really good. Okay. That might be the right... Uh, that might be it, guys. I think we're good to go. I'm kind of reluctant. I mean, I really like it here. But I think it is time to set out. I shouldn't say that out loud, though. You know what happens. As soon as I say it out loud, the weather changes. Well, I might have to, uh, hmm. I did get a, bit, a little bit of lag there, so I might need to save our game. I'm going to check over here real quick. I don't think I ever walked out onto the pier. I think it is possible to get, like, a, uh, I guess that would be on lower difficulty, though. I think you can get a hatchet here, but obviously not on interloper. Well, I am kind of worried about the weather. I don't know. Maybe I'll just go for it. Let's just go. I might make a fire on the way. Make some tea. I don't know. We're fully healed. Could take a little bit of cold damage. I don't particularly want to walk during a blizzard, though. It's gonna, it would, it would actually um, damage our clothing a little bit and get us wet. If it's just a little bit cold and snowy, it's not, I mean, it's not that big a deal. See if there's any rabbits out. We never did see a moose in this area, either here or over by the. Uh... Oh, you know what? I just realized. I was thinking of dropping down and checking those other containers. I think I might do that, guys. I'm not sure when we will be back this way. Also, oh, I just remembered also, I did want to repair our saw. I think our hacksaw is uh, getting kind of low condition. Let me check what our hacksaw condition is right now. What is it? 41%. Ooh, yeah. Surrounded That's by not snow good. And nothing to drink. Thought I heard something there. All 
Right, back again already. It's like we were just here. All right, I want to get a drink. And I think I'll sleep for an hour just to warm up and save our game. And hopefully this uh, bad weather will pass. It'd be nice if it was a warmer time of day. Um, hmm, you know what? Actually, maybe I'll fix... Let's fix our hacksaw first. Because I will forget if I don't take care of that. And we failed. Okay, that's not good because I have no more scrap metal. We're completely out of scrap metal. Is there really nothing here we can break down for scrap metal? 40%, 41%, all right. That's too bad. I mean, I guess we could break down the uh, the lantern, but I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. All right, let's sleep for an hour. Save our progress and hopefully get a little bit wet, better uh, weather. So I'll see you guys after a little nap. Okay, good morning. Uh, well, good, good hour nap, I guess. Ooh, sounds like the wind is picking up. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of lag as the video loads. Yeah, it's pretty laggy. All right, how's the temperature? It is uh, pretty cold. Ooh, all right. Well, I do have these books. Let's finish reading. Oh, wait, where are you? Read our revolver book. Read for an hour. Go for another hour. Oh, there it goes. Sounds like the storm has passed. Um, you know what, if we're going to go to the, let me drop these, if we're going to go to the, uh, store, gosh, why can't I think? It's been a long day at work, I guess. Um, the, gosh, what are those little storage, uh, compartments? Cargo, cargo bins. That's what we're going to go check out here. We're going to need that. So low condition, though. So there's not a whole lot we need to drop, but. We'll drop a little bit. Drop all these. Okay, I think we're good to go now. Should be lightweight. Be able to move quickly. Oh, nice! Boy, that really cleared up. Need some more meat. I wonder if we'll see the deer that the, the wolf went after. Okay, let's go. Such a beautiful day. You can see the uh, plane wreck way at the top of the mountain there between the two peaks. That's where we came down. Rabbit carcasses are gone. I could even do a little bit of jogging. Try to make this a quick expedition. Oh, there's a wolf right there. Hello, Wolfie. Um, you know what? I'm going to get a fire started. Since we can use the mag lens, we'll get a free fire. Can use our torch and just run past the wolf. There's also going to be a wolf down by the cargo containers we're trying to to loot, so It'd be nice to have a torch in our hand. You know, I could also heat up a tea really quick. It's probably not a bad idea. I think I'm carrying a bunch of uh, sticks as well. Didn't I pick up a, a bunch? Yeah, I got 11 sticks. All right, let's drop some tea here.
Yeah, I'm really not sure why it's so laggy. Guess we'll light this one. Okay. I'll put the uh, put the rose hip T ones in our thermos. Love that coloring. Okay, and then we'll drink this one. There we go. Feels good to have a full belly. Hey, Wolfie. Make some good time. Normally we'd have to uh, kind of worry about the bear, but we took care of the bear already. I suppose there is a chance that the uh, moose is out. We never did see the moose, but there is... I think we did see moose sign. Yeah, there's definitely a moose sign on that tree. That's where we want to head, I think, is right down there. But let's, uh, I'm going to peek over here. See if we can hear or see the moose. Spark. I think we already cleaned the birch bark. All right. Well, let's drop down here and uh, check out our cargo bins. It feels so good to be lightweight. Kind of a rare thing for me, I think. The uh, technical backpack helps a lot. We got the uh, got the technical backpack, the moose hide satchel, and the well-fed bonus. All working together to help us be lightweight. Got a little bit of snowflakes coming. Let's check over here. I think there is a deer carcass. Yeah, we've got the deer carcass. Um, I'm not going to mess with them right now. Let's go, let's go to the cargo bins. At least one wolf down here. Try to be careful. Let's stop into the cave. Chasm Cave. It 
If we had an Aurora, we could check the laptop. Is there any loot? Just firewood. I thought there might have been a lockbox here. Yeah. Well, no sign of the wolf. Or is that him right there? There he is. I think I just saw him. Hey, Wolfie. I've got a bit of an echo. Hopefully our hacksaw holds up. <laughs> Jeans? Wool socks? Nice. Okay. Do I already have two wool socks? I do. Yeah. Not particularly useful, but we'll take it. Oh man, really not worth coming, I think. Except now that we know what's in there, we, I mean, we, we didn't know before. So I guess that was worth it, just discovering what was here. Alright, Wolf, where did you go? Do I get fight home? We'll warm up soon. Alright, we're getting cold. There you are, Wolfie. I was looking for you. Oh, we're heavy now. Well, I can't. I can't uh, scare him like I did before. Let's get a new torch. Oh, hey there, Wolfie. Heading this way. All right. So cute when they're scared. Well, I had kind of a fun memory today. That uh, you know how sometimes you'll see something or you have a smell that just brings back a ton of memories, just triggers it. I had that happen today. Let's see if I can scare him. So I saw, um, <laughs> I guess I should give some backstory. Um, when I was a kid, behind our house, there was a big, kind of a foresty area, but I don't know, it was, it was like a wilderness, desert, foresty kind of area. It's just overgrown, it's between houses. Like, uh, it's it a pretty big area. And uh, of course we'd go back there and explore and make forts and huts and stuff like that. I'm gonna make a fire to warm up, by the way, while I'm talking to you. May as well get this deer hide. Um, so yeah, you know, you know, the kids, kids in the neighborhood, back in those, uh, I don't know, it's like early, early 80s, late 70s, early 80s, and parents just let you go do your I'm thing all fire. day, and you have to come home for dinner, when, you know, when when the when it gets dark. So pretty much no supervision. Um. But we would go back there and make forts and huts and, you know, play war and do all kinds of, I don't know, I don't know, it's just adventures, right? Um, well, one day we're, we were back there and we found 
I'm guessing it was some thieves or somebody had um, see how warm is this am I gonna warm up yeah I am warming up okay so I can actually harvest this um, you know those um, gosh what are they the coin operated like quarter machines where you get a bunch of like little kids would use them to get like gumballs and little plastic toys and stuff Ooh, hacks are so low let's go for it um, yeah so there's one of these massive like um, conglomerate of coin operated like toy machines somebody had stolen and smashed open to get the coins out but they had left all they'd left all the toys like so they'd left like the machines themselves along with like all the little stupid toys that are in there like all the little capsules with tons of little I don't know how to how to quite describe it but it was like a treasure for us of course the money was all gone and the things were broken but all of the toys were there and you know so obviously somebody stole it and maybe like for drug money or something I have no idea but it was uh, such a good time so I saw I saw one of those trinkets today um, that uh, that we found like there are a bunch of, one of the things that we got from there were football helmets. They had these little plastic football helmets you could collect from every NFL team. And they had like all these little charms and bouncy balls and alien dudes and like, oh man, just pretty much anything you could think of. Just reminded me of that today. I saw that. I'm like, oh man, I, I remember that. Of course, us, uh, all the kids that we, you know, when we found it, we, we'd share it, we'd split it up, we'd uh, trade football helmets and all that fun stuff. Good times, good memories. And, uh, oh, I gotta say, when I, when I brought this stuff home, my parents didn't believe me that I'd found this out in the woods. Like, what are you doing with all this stuff? Where'd you get this? So my dad made me take him with me. Uh, back into the woods to show him where somebody had had found this and ditched, you know, or ditched this uh, coin-operated machine. Let me drop this so I don't get attacked. I want to heat up some more tea. Looks like I actually probably need to cook some tea. I probably need to start harvesting more uh, rose hips and and uh, mushrooms here pretty soon. All right, we'll drink it. We'll drink a tea and then make our way back, back up there. But uh, you know, at least we got the deer hide. Be kind of nice to leave it at the uh, mountaineer's hut. Anyway, I think it's pretty amazing how our brains work. Where you see something or usually it's like smells like it, if you smell something it just brings you right back to a memory you completely forgot about but it's so vivid it's pretty pretty amazing I think all right grab some of these as always you know me, gotta grab torches. These are actually really good torches, by the way. Okay. Drink our rose hip tea. Well, take these with us for now. As long as the wind is uh, cooperating with us. Okay, I can hear something. Alright, you can go eat those guts, wolf. Have fun. Don't come this way. Silly wolf. 
He's gonna turn right around and try to get us again, isn't he? Okay, go that way. Could do a little bit of running. I really do feel bad for people who've lost their sense of smell. I know there's lots of people who suffer from like, uh, I don't know, like nose conditions where they like their nose is permanently clogged or like sinus or allergies or stuff like that. I really feel bad. Um, sense of smell is pretty amazing. I'm not sure I can carry much more. I think, uh, my favorite sense would probably be the sense of hearing. I really, really do like the ability to hear music and and uh, spoken word, you know, sounds, audiobooks, especially music. Love music. Pretty amazing all the senses that we have. I'm going to grab these. I'm a little bit worried about the weather and the wolves and the meat we're carrying. No sign of the moose. I'm going to try to hurry a little bit, see if we can beat this storm. Watch out for wolves. Okay, not bad. I mean, we're not there yet, but I feel like we're gonna be all right now. Well, the uh, cargo containers were a little bit of a disappointment, but we did get the deer hide. Can leave that curing here. My fingers feel numb. See what time it is. Sun's going down. Well, I think Timberwolf, Timberwolf Mountain has been pretty nice to us. We've had a uh, good visit here. The sun is setting. It's been pretty productive. I just drop that before I forget. Let's get that curing. Um, where can I put this? You know what? I'm just going to drop it. Let's put it right on top of the guts. Oh, did it drop? Oh, okay. Yeah, that works. What is it on top of, though? What? Oh, cured saplings. You know what? I'm going to put it over here. That's better. Okay, and um, these are all the things I want to take with us. I gotta drop the meat, don't I? Got that meat we're carrying. Okay, one thing I do want to do before I forget, let's leave a note. Timberwolf Mountain, 
Here at the Mountaineer's Hut, we have one deer hide and three rabbit hides. Our meat supply is getting pretty low. You know, I might just keep going. What do you think? Should we just go? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go, guys. Let's make sure I don't need anything. Should I, uh, let's see, I'll drop some of these. Let's keep our torch going. Oh no, do I just mix it up? There we go. Take three of those, and I think we're ready to go, honestly. Let's see if our thermos is still hot. Where is it? Did I miss it? Oh, they're cold. All right. Um, I'm going to transfer them out, because otherwise I won't see them. Start a fire, heat up a tea. And uh, I think I'll just go to the uh, prepper's cache. Come on, little fire. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Okay, let's drop these teas. Get them heating. Heating up. Fifteen minutes. I'm um, sure, why not? Okay, I'm going to put the birch bark tea in our thermos. Drink one of these. Alright, let's go. Gonna try to be sneaky before the game realizes we're actually making a run for it. Tries to stop us. The one regret I have about going right now is how tired we are though. It's possibly gonna slow us down just a little bit. Um, and we do have a rope climb ahead of us. So I will probably have to uh, Kind of find a quicker way down the mountain, down the rope climb. But I think we should be okay. Do a little bit of running. Ooh, I hope we can find some birch bark here. Yeah, there we go. Kind of walk over this way, see if there's any more. Oh, here's some.
Nice. Okay, I think this is our exit right here. Gotta be careful I don't get turned around. I think if I just kind of hug the left side here, it should take us where we want to be. Yeah. I need to find a place to rest. Right up here. Is that birch bark? No. So that's interesting. It just said new location discovered, landing gear. So I'm guessing when we came here before, we, maybe I kind of hugged to the right or something. I must have uh, bypassed the landing gear so that it didn't uh, didn't say that it was a new location. So many sticks. How many rocks do I have? Two? Okay. I think we succeeded in being sneaky. The game didn't realize we'd left. And uh, weather hasn't turned to a blizzard just yet. about the rope descent. I have kind of billy goated down here before. I think I usually get a sprain, but it's not going to be a problem because we're going to, even if we get a sprain, we're going to sleep. It is awfully late. We're tired. The transition must be coming up right here. getting cold. Hey, welcome back to Pleasant Valley. Good to be back. Oh, so cold. Yeah, we're getting cold. Cold and tired. I don't remember if we left any food or meat back at the prepper's cache here. Can't really remember.
Right, there's our rope climb right there. Gotta figure out how we're gonna do this. Seems like the last time I tried to drop down here, I did take down, some damage. Right so I might actually take off some of our clothing so that I don't damage the clothing. So we're already freezing cold, so it's not gonna matter. That is actually a symptom of somebody suffering from hypothermia is they feel really hot and they start to remove clothing. It's kind of funny. Well, I mean, it's not funny, so, but it's kind of ironic. Okay. Okay, yep, we're already freezing cold, so it's not really gonna be a problem. Let's get a new torch. Okay, yeah, I think last time I came up here I did take some damage. Just have to be so careful. Um, I think we come over this way and kind of shimmy down in here. Is this right? Hopefully this is right. Yeah, this should be fine. Oh, there's our sprains. Um, but I'll make it. I think this is where I took damage before. Okay, not bad. And we do have some meat. Nice. Let's get a bite to eat before we head inside. Feels so good to be back. Made it safely. Um, definitely want to put our clothing back. Thin wool sweater. That was, yeah, that's the best, right? We've got our gloves. Insulation. Okay, everything's back to normal. Prepper's abandoned cache. All right, guys, well, I think this is where we're going to call it an episode. We made it back safely to the Prepper's abandoned cache in Pleasant Valley. Uh, next mission, next uh, episode, I'm hoping to locate our bearskins and do some crafting. Get a nice warm bearskin coat. Um, but uh, other than that, you know, let's get a drink. I think we're good to go to sleep here. And uh, we should have a nice long recovery. We'll, we should recover any health we lost. And be all fresh and renewed and ready to go for the next episode. Thank you so much for coming along. I'd love to hear from you. If you want to leave a little message or note or comment. Or if you prefer, you can just leave a thumbs up. It would be much appreciated. But most importantly, guys, I do hope to catch you in the next episode. Take care. <laughs>